So I hope you guys are having a blessed Christmas. I hope you guys are with family and enjoying yourself. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video. I don't know if you guys know, but G3 just finished up their conference. And I mean, I'm just going through a, a multitude of the sermons, such great teachers. And I really enjoy when I get to Vodi's sermon. And I wanted to talk about something he mentioned in the sermon. Vodi mentioned, uh, and I will be playing a short excerpt of his full sermon on this, uh, this topic after I speak, but he mentioned where he was leaving a conference and he was talking about how he was on the plane and how he was tired and he just wanted to sleep and he just wanted some peace. And uh, he got, he sat down and he had a whole row to himself. And so he prayed to God and he said, God, you know, he made a joke. He said, God, if you love me, just give me this row. And uh, he thought he had it for a minute, but then a woman sat right, right down to him to his right. And uh, he still thought that he was okay. He still thought he could sleep, but then the woman pulled out a book on Jesus. And he knew that that was his cue to uh, share the gospel, to witness to this woman. And so he started a dialogue with her and talking to her. And he said something that's really important um, and, 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 and a crucial element to evangelism. He, he asked her to tell him, first he asked her, are you a Christian? And she said, yes. And then he asked her specifically, tell me about your Jesus. And the reason why this is important is because it's different than tell me about what the Bible says about Jesus. See, one of the ways, see, we all know as Christians that not everyone, that most people that profess to be Christian are not actually Christian. And so when someone claims to be a Christian, we as true Christians need to examine their knowledge, their fruit, their, their, their testimony to see if they really are. Because we know Matthew 7, not everyone that says they are is. And so one of the ways you can do this is you can expose kind of the truth is by saying, tell me about your Jesus. Instead of saying, tell me about what the Bible says about Jesus. Because when you say, tell me what the Bible says about Jesus, it gives them a hiding place, a hiding ground. Because then they can say, well, you know, I don't read much Bible. I haven't read the Bible in a long time, so I'm not quite sure. But when you tell them, tell me about your Jesus, now that centers on themselves. It kind of brings out their own opinion. And so it exposes themselves. It, it opens them up to being exposed. And so a lot of times you'll have people say, well, yeah, Jesus is a good man. And because they're saying what they think about Jesus, they're giving you their opinion. Uh, and they'll say, well, yeah, I think Jesus is a good man. And I think he's uh, he was a good teacher. He was a good prophet and this and that. Um, <clears throat> and then after that person reveals what they think about God, now you can examine that in light of what the scripture says about the Lord. And you can you can confront them with that, with their sin of their faulty view of Christ. And I think uh, that's that was a great position that Vody took in his, his uh, back and forth with this woman on the plane. And I just want to share that I thought that was really crucial, a crucial element to evangelism is to asking someone who claims to, to be a Christian, tell me about who you think Jesus is or tell me about your Jesus. And so I'm going to go ahead and play the short clip. Uh, and I will also include the the, the link to the full sermon in the description. Thank you and have a blessed Christmas. I've often told the story of a plane ride, a plane ride I'll never forget. Uh, I'm riding the, next to a woman who's reading a book and she's reading a new age book about Jesus. Um, if the title of the book didn't give it away, the cover gave it away that this was a new age book about Jesus. And I, it was one of those times I was tired. You know, I just, you know, I, I, I I know you'd probably love to think that, you know, that, that us, you know, preachers, when we go somewhere and, and we preach and we do all that we have to do, we get on the plane and we just can't wait for the Lord to give us somebody to witness to. No. No, when we're through with y'all, we want to get on the plane and go to sleep. And that's what I wanted to do. But not this day. I'm getting on the plane and I just want to go to sleep. I get on the plane and I sit down and I'm like, my, my row is empty. And it's one of those days where I just felt, Lord, if you love me. Just, just give me this row, God, just give me this row. And this woman sits down. That's fine. She's, at least it wasn't a big old burly man, right? Like me. Just nothing like two big old burly men sitting next to each other on the plane, right? Again, whose elbow's going to be up on the... No. So it's a, it's a woman. Okay, Lord, thank you. I appreciate that. I was ungrateful. So now I can sleep because it's not a big burly man and she opens up a book about Jesus. <laughs> not going to happen, is it?
And so we have a conversation about this book about Jesus that she's reading, this book about Jesus who's, you know, and I, I ask her, you know, if she knows my Jesus. And she says, yes. And I say, well, well, who is my Jesus then? He's, you know, he's a good man, and a good prophet, and a good teacher. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> and that was all. That was all. And so I, I just had to ask. I said, okay, well, do you believe that he's, do you believe he's God? No, no, I don't believe that he's God. I, I, I believe he was, you know, a man who was close to God and he was this and that and the other and you know, he was God. Do you believe that he's the only way to God? No, I don't believe he's the only way to God. You know, there are many roads to God. Do you believe he died and rose again on the third day? No, no, I don't believe he died and rose on the third day. So then you don't believe that he ascended to the right hand of the Father and that he's coming again to judge the living and the dead? No, no, I don't believe that. I said, well, ma'am, I don't know you very well, but I feel obligated to tell you you got issues. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because you believe that Jesus is a good man, but this man said, I and the Father are one. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. You say you don't believe he's God, but he said that he was God. A man who says that he's God is not a good man if he's not God.